My name is Patrick Fafard. I'm a senior investigator in the Global Strategy Lab, and I'm a faculty member in the University of Ottawa um, in the faculties of social science and medicine. I'm Adele Casola. I work as an investigator and research director for the Public Health Institution's research program at the Global Strategy Lab at York University. So early on in the pandemic, um, Prime Ministers, Premiers, political leaders around the world started using the phrase following the science. So when asked about the policies and programs they were putting in place to manage the COVID-19 pandemic, they would repeatedly use the term, uh, well, we're just following the science or we're following the, the advice of our scientific advisors, our public health advisors. This is not common in the way politicians talk about government policy. And so our goal was to try and understand why they were doing it and what the implications were. So we found that political leaders in all three countries often used the phrase following the science when they were talking about talking publicly about decisions that were scientifically contested or political risky. Things like uh, masking, canceling public events, uh, in-person learning and border closures. And in particular, elected leaders often emphasize the sort of central role of scientific advisors and the importance of expert guidelines in their decision-making process. And this often had the effect of seeming to sort of distance political leaders from their own decisions. This work is really timely because how elected leaders communicate with the public has really important repercussions for public trust in politicians and in public health experts. And trust is really important for governments to be able to manage public health crises, whether, whether they are long-standing ones or whether it's, you know, sort of the next big pandemic. Overuse of the term just following the science uh, shifts responsibility to others and has the effect of weakening the whole idea that ministers are responsible, cabinets are responsible for the decisions they take. If left unchallenged and unchecked, we end up in a, in a world where the public is no longer quite sure who's making decisions, but it also um, takes politicians off the hook for the very admittedly difficult decisions they have to make, but it's the ones in our system that they are uh, positioned, best positioned to make and it would be inappropriate to create a system where somehow these decisions were being taken by uh, unelected officials. It's also, you know, misleading about how these decisions are made, right? Because in a representative democracy like Canada, policy decisions, decisions aren't and shouldn't be based only on scientific evidence. And it's politicians' job to consider things like research constraints and public opinion and ethics and, you know, all the additional factors that go into making a policy decision, you know, that's their job to balance those different factors.